it's important to incorporate strategy early in a transformation because you don't want to precisely plan for the wrong future. Our research shows that 50% of a company's ability to increase their economic profit is driven by trends in their industries and the geographies that they participate in. And so not addressing that upfront can lead to giant blind spot in terms of being able to successfully transform a company. So one powerful approach to use in transformation is to incorporate a strategic diligence upfront at the starting point of a transformation. And we would typically think about strategic diligence through four different lenses, a financial lens, a market lens, competitive advantage lens, and an operating model lens. And look at the company through those lenses to determine if and what strategic moves are required as part of the transformation roadmap to maximize value creation and sustain it over a long period of time. So after the strategic diligence phase is usually a phase called detailed design and planning. And what this entails is taking the high level strategic roadmap and building a more detailed plan around it. Now the difference between a strategic transformation and a performance transformation is that several of the initiatives are less defined and a little bit more ambiguous than in a performance transformation. So if you compare and contrast a performance transformation where you're trying to go after a certain dollar amount of uh, material cost savings versus a strategic transformation where you're building a new product or entering a new mar market from scratch, the level of granularity that you can get to is different. And it requires a little bit more of a top-down approach in some cases to defining these strategic initiatives in enough detail where teams can go execute against them. It's also a little bit more ambiguous. Uh, if M&A is part of the strategic roadmap uh, and you find out the targets that you want to go after aren't for sale, uh, you have to make a pivot. The roadmap is much more dynamic in terms of uh, in a strategic transformation than it would be in a performance transformation. And that also has implications on the type of talent that you want to have leading these transformations because they have to be able to think through ambiguity, it's more dynamic, and so that's the kinds of things that management teams need to think about when they go to the second phase of strategic transformation.